This is the Union Chain Suspension Bridge, built across the River Tweed between 1819 and 1820 by a retired naval officer, Captain Sir Samuel Brown. On one side, Scotland, lies Paxton. On the other side, in England, Horncliffe, a small village in Northumbria. The bridge is 449 feet long, that is 137 metres. It's the oldest vehicle-carrying suspension bridge in Europe. Captain Brown was a successful pioneer in the replacement of rope with wrought iron chains on naval warships, and he used this knowledge to design the suspension system for his bridge. He was not an expert in building in stone, and this work was carried out by another engineer. On the Scotland side, there's an arch, reminiscent of a triumphal arch, whilst on the England side, the chains go directly into the native rock. The intention had been to replace the old ford with a bridge. However, it was built in a different position, and this has resulted in it surviving 200 years of floods of the River Tweed. It was built for only between a half and a third of what a stone bridge would have cost. Robert Stevenson, the son of George Stevenson, the railway pioneer, was there at the opening. He observed Captain Brown coming across the bridge, followed by 20 tonnes worth of weight in the wagons that followed, and between 600 and 700 spectators. This showed off the strength of the bridge to all and sundry. The upkeep of the bridge was paid for through tolls until 1883, when this system was abandoned. A toll house stood on the English side. This had a portico sticking out and two rooms that were cut into the solid rock. A family known as Roxburgh were the toll keepers. It seems likely that on the Scottish side, Tweed Cottage was where they actually lived. In 1955, the old toll house on the English side was demolished and the rooms with the windows were infilled. In 1902-1903, a cable was laid on either side of the bridge to give extra strength. This ran into the rock, as did the chains, to a depth of 40 feet where the anchor was located for each cable or chain. Such was the fame of Captain Brown's bridge, that in 1823, no less a person than Isambard Kingdom Brunel, then aged 18, made a special journey to examine the bridge. The bridge has been closed briefly for repair works on a couple of occasions, but in late 2020, it's due to close for multi-million pound restoration works.